Whoops. Hey there. It's Laurence Bradford from Learn to Co with me, trying to find my place. All right. This time we're going to be talking about the span element. Last time we talked about the div. Let's look at this for a second just to refresh our memory. So we use that to group elements into sections. So that you remember it tied uh, the HTML and the CSS together. Together, if we look at the code for an example. This well, all of these are you know divs. Div ID header, which is sectioning off the header. Div ID content, which would be sectioning off the content, which ended all the way down there. For the example, I also did a div with a centered of class, and then I just did a text align center, and I made the font smaller. That's what this was. That was just sort of to show you how within, you know, you, you can add these styles just to certain things and group them up. So a span is different than a div because it's inline. And I really don't use span tags ever, I think, because the, the example I'm going to do, I guess, makes sense, but I'm trying to think. I mostly do, you know, when I write a blog post, for instance, on WordPress, and say you want to change the color of the font, when you do that with WordPress, um, the HTML that's actually happening is a span tag. But typically, I don't really use them all that often, I use them pretty, yeah, sparingly. But, oh, let me go here. The example I have is just turning one, um, one word red. So, let's go back here. Let's go to this paragraph. Let's change this. So span class equals red. Hmm, then let's end it here. Okay, save. Go over to style CSS. Alright, let's dot red because remember when you want to call a class you use the period. A class, wait, as in, um, yeah, the class versus the ID. Okay. color red and color means font color okay refresh so look this just turned into red font let's see what happens if instead we do background color red refresh the background color just of that text is red Okay, and that again was achieved with the span tag, which is in line. So that's real. Like the next thing I'm going to talk about is pseudo classes, which kind of sounds a little scary, but basically, um, it's going to be showing how how links are formatted. But let's do another, why not, for just for, you know, giggles, let's do another example of span. Okay, so, hmm, I think the best with this content is within the paragraph. So let's do here, span class equals big text. And let's just do this word, span close it okay so now if we go back to our page and refresh nothing happens that's because we didn't give it a CSS style but I should note that there is a way that you can do um, inline so let's say if I let's take this out for a second and did now I'm not, I hope I'm doing this right. <laughs> Style. Wait, style. I think it's style equals color red. Let's see if that works. 
Okay, that did work. So see how that word just turned red? That's how you would do it in line. When I was talking about WordPress before, that's how they sort of do it. If, if you're in your WordPress text editor typing something, you want to change a word to a color, they just add an inline style like that with the span tag. Okay, but let's get rid of that and put what I had before. Okay, let's go back, refresh, nothing. Goes back to black because you took out the red. Let's go here. Let's add now big, cl oh wait, it wasn't big class. It was what? Uh, big text. Big text, you call the class in the CSS with the period. And let's do font size. And up here we did EMs, and I like to keep things consistent. So let's do 2 EM. So this is going to make this font size twice as big as the parent element, which in this case would be this P tag, so, oh, I don't have anything set, meaning it's just the browser default, which looks like, what, it's like 12 pixels or something. Okay, let's refresh. Let's see here, inspect element, font size, 2EM. Then, I know we talked about this before, this is like the Chrome developer tools. So you uncheck this and it goes back to normal. And this really comes in handy on bigger sites because it allows you to see everything and then say if you're modifying something like, okay, this font size, I want to change it to, I actually want to make it bigger. Let's do 1.75. Oh, wow, wow. That's a little too big. Let's go back to, let's just do point, well, that was big, 0.95. 0.95. Okay, I like that. Oh, no center line, center line. Okay, cool. Anyway, you get the picture. All right, so that's going to be all I do today. And again, we talk about the pseudo elements. So thanks for tuning in. And just remember, the span tag is an inline um, change, like a style change, whereas the div is a block level and it sections off things. All right. Thanks for watching.